What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your techno dad here. And I haven't done one of these videos in five months. So we're going to take a quick tour of my home theater setup. And we're going to get into it right after the jump. And I'm back. Before we get started, if this is the kind of content you're looking for on YouTube, you should consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss a beat. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. So you might be asking yourself, why are we doing another video like this? Well, in the last five months, my audio system has been pumped up on roids. No, not really. But yeah, actually, kind of. Got a whole bunch of copper cones upstairs. It looks great. It sounds insane. And well, you know, one of you guys asked about my setup again, so here we are. So let's go upstairs and do a quick tour of the home theater setup. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. I think it's awesome. You know what I mean? I'm stoked. I'm loving listening to two channel music with my RP280Fs on full range, nothing else, not even subwoofer. They sound amazing. When we're watching TV, everything is crystal clear coming out of that RP450C center channel. My wife can hear everything, I can hear everything, and it's great. When we get into 4K ultra high definition Blu-rays, we got Dolby Atmos, all kinds of cool stuff going on up there at the sides and everything awesome happening on screen. 12 inch subwoofer is awesome. Yeah, I got it for free and that makes it even better. So I went ahead and put the retail price and the price I purchased for or the price I got that certain speaker at. Just so you guys know, like I am still like looking for the best deal possible. So those are the main pieces of the home theater. There are a few accessories that I'll go over now. One is the Nyko charging block, which I think is really cool because it charges both Xbox One S and PS4 controllers in the same uh, block, in the same situation. So you got only one cable going to power so that, you know, cuts out a cable because we don't need any more cables than we have already. There is an AC router, which handles all of the wireless streaming, whether it's to the TV, the Xbox, the Denon, the Oppo, you know, all these things wirelessly do firmware updates and all that kind of stuff. This is also handles the 4K streaming in the bedroom with the Xbox One S and the LG budget TV I have in the bedroom. Making sure you have a good uh, internet infrastructure is great. Now I pay for 200 megabits down and that Asus AC router I have is phenomenal. It does its job, it's great, everything's nice and fast and you know, kid could be down here playing video games in his room next door. Wifey could be watching some streaming upstairs in the bedroom. And I could be out in the living room watching some 4K streaming as well and nothing hiccups. You know, we have enough bandwidth for that. And yes, you know, I pay for all that. So, you know, you got to pay to play, right? So the next accessory I have, well, it's kind of an accessory, kind of not. It's an iMac that has a three terabyte hard drive and that has a whole bunch of 1080p Blu-rays. I ripped them to a hard drive, my little library, and it stays on there. And I have like a uh, cool Logitech 
keyboard with trackpad, it's all like one situation. And um, maybe I'll put a picture of it on the screen here for you guys. Got one of those for like $25. And that sits on one of the end tables over by the couch. And the computer stays on. So I'm really looking at uh, checking out the whole Plex server thing. And I'll get back to you guys with another video about that. Other accessories, pretty much, you know, like a Logitech universal remote. I've had the Harmony one since 2005, so that thing's old. And I got a newer one, the Harmony Touch, which is discontinued now. When I bought it, it I got it for half price. It was only 100 bucks, and I am planning on doing a review of it. My wife, I don't know what's up with her. Her thumbs are like huge or whatever. She keeps hitting fast forward or she thinks she's hitting fast forward and then the TV does all kinds of crazy stuff <laughs> and so I don't know what the deal is so she continually uses the Harmony one which sucks because I was gonna sell it for like 80 bucks but now I have to keep the damn thing uh, the other thing you know would be cables HDMI cables I use the Securo Max cables I use SVS sound path patch cable RCA to go from the receiver to the subwoofer it's a great one magnetically shielded as well I also use SVS sound path speaker cable for my left center and right channels since they are 12 gauge uh, you can get them custom cut to whatever lengths you would like so that's also pretty cool and the other cables are used are just your basic 16 gauge monster cable you know white navajo to go up and around and down through the carpet uh, i have videos on how to pull up your carpet well it's not really like a how-to but you see me pulling up the carpet and cutting out a little bit of the padding and putting the speaker wire in there and putting the carpet back. Uh, I'll put a link to that video down below as well so you guys can check out how I did it. And for the Atmos speakers, you know I'm lucky. I have uh, beams that run across my ceiling so I just put the speaker wire up on the side of the beam and then on the top of the beam so you don't really see the speaker wire and then down to the speakers. So that's pretty much it as far as accessories, I think. So the reason I put the pricing and what I paid for in the video so that you guys kind of get an idea like I don't want to spend full price some situations I had to but I came out on top for instance so I had to pay full price $5.99 for each Klipsch RP280F the reason for that is Klipsch had a promotion that month where if you buy two floor standing speakers you get a free subwoofer I was actually planning on getting the RP260F at $4.99 but it only came with a 10 inch subwoofer if I stepped it up, put in another $200, I got a free 12 inch subwoofer. Now the 12 inch subwoofer is $650. So all in all, it was a score. Now, if you guys are looking specifically for Klipsch speakers, I can get you guys in touch with my Klipsch dealer. He's awesome. His name is Corey. I'll put his website in the video or down below. If you go talk to him or communicate with him, tell him Technodad sent you. What do I have coming up in the future? It seems like everything's okay, right? Like my home theater's done? It's not done. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? It's not done, man. It's not done. So here's what I have coming up. First, I have a new power conditioner coming. It's a Furman Elite 15 PFI, and I actually got it from Corey, who gave me a smoking deal on that as well. I'll be replacing some old ass, crappy monster cable power conditioner that I've had since 2005. Since I got all this new equipment, I figure time to get a new power conditioner. And that's kind of like a prelude to what's coming. My boy Corey became a Parasound amplifier dealer a few months back. He's got some amazing pricing on those. TH Checks Ultra 2 certified amplification. Wow. So my next purchase is going to be a three channel Parasound A31. Three channel, 250 watts and eight ohms, and that's going to be powering my front stage, my left, center, and right. I have a feeling, just a little, little feeling, that my Denon is not pushing enough power to those three speakers. Because the Denon is powering seven altogether. So, you know, I'll put the three onto the amp and have the Denon power the other four. And we'll see how that goes. So that's my plan as far as the amplification. And it's kind of like a little stepping stone into separates. And I'll always have that amplifier. So no matter what receiver I get, Let's say 2018, they change the HDMI spec to 2.1. And now my Denon AVR is obsolete. And so is my 2016 LG OLED. It's also obsolete. So got to get rid of all these things, right? But I'll still have my amplifier and I'll still be running my same 250 watts to my front stage. Just have a new 
processor or AVR or whatever I feel like I need to get. Then you're like, wait, there's more? Yes, there's more. I know you guys seen the video. If you haven't, I did a whole video on who the OPPO UDP205 is for, and I'm thinking about getting my hands on one of those. So that's what I have planned for the future. Power conditioner, power amplifier, OPPO UDP205. That's what's kind of on the radar, you know? And um, yeah, that's pretty much what the situation is with my home theater right now and what I plan for doing in the future. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad and I'll see you next time.